What's up, everybody, man? It's your boy, Courtney Dugard, with another episode of Courtney's Corners. Man, I'm just waking up, bro. Come to find out, we signed Michael Bennett, bro. <laughs> Howie Roseman, bro, you something else, man. Like, we go out there, we win the Super Bowl, and he's still out there making trades, trying to get the team better, man. And we only gave up a fifth round pick and Marcus Johnson, a wide receiver who we never even dressed. He was like inactive except for like the first few games of the season, bro. And we also receive an extra seven round pick in the deal, man. It's pros and cons to the trade. The pros to the trade is that, bro, Michael Bennett is a Super Bowl champ. He's going to be used in the third down situational pass rusher. He got good experience. He brings a swagger to the defense. You know, he, he'll he be a pretty good contributor as a third down pass rusher, man. The only cons to this, it looked like we might not re-sign Chris Long, bro. And, man, I love me some Chris Long, man. Not only, you know, he a good dude giving up his whole check for the whole season and everything, but, like, Chris Long got it done, man. When it was, the money was on the table, Chris Long got to the quarterback, bro. The game ending strip sack against the Rams. You know, the big play when he hit Case Keenum on for the pick six for Patrick Robinson. And just a lot of other players when he he got pressures and got close to the quarterback. You know, the fumble recovery in the NFC Championship game. You know, I'm going to miss Chris Long, bro. Now, Vinny Curry, I think we're going to also trade him, man, because, you know, the little youngster, Derek Barnett, he ready to come in and be every down pass rush on the opposite side of Brandon Graham. So, that's the only negative about it, bro. But getting Michael Bennett, man, a, a proven pass rusher, and he may be motivated in a new situation. He with a great D-line coach and Chris Wilson. Bro, like, we not stopping, man. We not stopping, man. That's what I love right now about this organization, about this team, man. Even though we won it all, we not about to just sit down and just feel like, oh, we've done it all. Like, nah, man, we got a young, a trending superstar quarterback. We got a really a young coach who just super creative in his play calling. You know what I'm saying? And we got we deep on the defensive end, man. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing what Sidney Jones could do this year, too. Now, it's also looking like we might possibly trade, like, Ronald Darby or somebody, you know, for another draft pick and let Sidney Jones get in there. And, you know, he going to be the day one starter, probably on the opposite side of Jalen Mills since, you know, Darby contract is up after next year and he going to be do big money. But, um, bruh, hey, Dallas, <laughs> Washington, New York, it's on, it's, our, it's on, bro. We ain't stopping anytime soon, man. Unless the ball just don't bounce our way, bro. We we set up to really to really run this division and make a push for this championship every year, man. Welcome new Philadelphia Eagle, Michael Bennett. Excited to have you. Ready to see who we going to possibly get or ho unfortunately potentially lose next week in free agency. But, bro... Michael Bennett is a Philadelphia Eagle, man. Super Bowl champs. Fly Eagles fly, baby. I'm out.